Hello, everyone, and welcome to week 16 of MSK Unknown Case Series. I'm excited to show this case to you guys. We have a frontal and a lateral view of the ring finger, the right ring finger here. Take a look at this. And the question that I have for you guys is, which structure is injured? Is it the flexor digitorum profundus tendon, the extensor digitorum communis tendon, the sagittal band, or the extensor hood? And I think the lateral view is very telling. What we have here is we have an avulsion fracture along the dorsal base of the fourth distal phalanx. You can notice that this small fracture fragment is displaced dorsally. This is the dorsum or the posterior aspect of the finger. This is the volar aspect of the finger. And there's a fracture fragment here. And uh, we're trying to figure out what structure inserts along the dorsal base of the distal phalanx. And of course, we know this is none other than the extensor digitorum communis tendon or the common extensor tendon. This also known as a mallet finger. This is a nice example of what a mallet finger would look like. Now, if the volar aspect of the distal phalanx was avulsed, that would be a jersey finger or an avulsion of the flexor digitorum profundus tendon. That would, the answer would have been A. But here, this is an avulsion of the dorsal aspect. And you know the extensor tendon injury is much more common than a flexor tendon injury. The sagittal band and extensor hood are important for extension, but this is the wrong location, right? The, Sagittal band are fibers that help prevent lateral translation of the extensor tendons at the MCP joint. So that would have been, you know, down here. And the extensor hood are also fibers that prevent lateral translation and they run, you know, just proximal to the MCP to just proximal to the PIP joint. And the sagittal band is actually a part of the extensor hood. So we're in the wrong location there. So the best answer here is an avulsion of the extensor digitorum communis tendon. Also known as a mallet finger, very common in baseball injuries. Uh, this is an avulsion of that extensor digitorum communis that inserts on the dorsal base of the distal phalanges of the digits. It's common in close sports injuries like baseball. Uh, often these patients present with inability to extend the DIP joint. They often present with flexion and with, that, with an inability to extend the finger. However, if you know less than 80% of the tendon is uh, torn, then the extens extensor mechanism may still be preserved. So that's important to keep in mind as well. And really the treatment is usually closed reduction, but if you have large displaced fracture famines, it's involving a large part of the articular surface, like more than a third or maybe a half, then they may opt to do ORIF in that particular case. But most of these are treated with closed reduction. So this is a very nice example of a mallet finger, very high yield case, much more common than the Jersey finger or the involvement of the flexor digitorum profundus uh, I hope this was helpful and tune in next week again for another very high yield musculoskeletal radiology case. Thank you so much.